I feel like one thing about me is that I just put a lot of pressure on myself to just be this perfect person and I'm so far from being perfect and I'm not going to put any more pressure on myself than God puts on me. I put so much pressure on myself to be this person that God doesn't even have the expectation of me because he knows me. There's no escape from work and when you're an influencer when your life is your work and your work is your life. We make it look effortless but it's hard. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So I guess in today's video, it's just gonna be a life update. I have been off YouTube for two months now. It feels like the longest I've ever taken off YouTube. History will probably prove that is not true, but it does feel like the longest that I have taken away from YouTube. And that was half intentional, half unintentional. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know in the month of June, I decided to take the whole month off of social media, no Twitter, no Instagram, no TikTok, no YouTube, nothing. I did not alert you guys here on YouTube that I was taking a break, but I just figured if you follow me on Instagram, you would know, but obviously numbers say that not everyone that follows me on YouTube follows me on Instagram. But if you ever want to know where I am, I'm sure I will post it on Instagram. Anyway, so I decided to take a month off of social media because I felt like it was starting to become, I guess, intoxicating for me and consuming. And I like to say that when you're on social media, you're either a creator or you are a consumer. Um, most people are consumers, few people are creators. However, even creators have moments where they're just consuming. And I found that I wasn't really posting anything online, but every time I woke up in the morning, I was checking my phone and I felt like my head was getting filled with so many different messaging and so many different opinions and different, different ideas and different people's lives and different people's lifestyles and this kind of stuff kind of started to become very overwhelming to me. I kind of felt like I was losing my reason for being on social media, if that makes sense. When you turn from being a creator to a consumer, it's a different experience. And now I realize why a lot of my fellow creators, like I will never see them in the comments. I will never see them commenting on anything or like being engaged in anything else. However, Brini be up in the comments, giving my two cents. <laughs> which I will talk about a little bit later because I've definitely learned my lesson to be a bit more discreet. Even though I may have a strong opinion on something, I don't always have to give my two cents. Like there's a song called No Type by Race Shimoda, Sh whatever. And he says, keep your two cents, take your own advice. And that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. However, I'm a very opinionated person and I'm a very passionate person. And so when I do things or when I'm consuming things or creating things, I'm doing so very passionately. And some people may argue, oh, it's only social media. Like, why is it affecting you so much? I like to consider myself quite a strong person. However, I do feel like I have my limits and I don't feel like I knew them. But before I go any further, if you relate to anything that I'm speaking about in this video, or if you have any, you know, issues that you're dealing with, I want to recommend you guys. And that is BetterHelp. This is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and is 100% done online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 experienced therapists can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences as it relates to therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable of it via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. If your therapist is not right for you for any reason, you can switch your therapist at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you get the same quality and the same professionalism as you would with in-office therapy. But this way, your therapist is custom picked for you, which will enable more scheduling flexibility. So you can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp going to betterhelp.com forward slash Brini Lee. That's B-E-T-T-E-R help, H-E-L-P.com forward slash Brini Lee. Or you can check that description box 
for the link. And so I left a, a message on my Instagram, which I didn't realize that so many people would relate to, but a lot of people related to it. Just like feeling like you're living for social media as opposed to living real life and letting Instagram see you living. So there's a difference between actually doing things for Instagram and letting Instagram become a part of your life. And it may be hard for people that aren't creators to relate. For those who create, you know exactly what I mean. The blur between what's real life and what is social media can sometimes become very blurred. And it's almost like you you stop living in real life and you're only living on social media through a phone, through a device, which can become very desensitizing and numbing. And I found that I was becoming very numb to real life and real life people and my friends and my family and like even when I went away I was still so much into my phone that I was making the people or the person that I was with feel lonely even though I was physically there and I just became so consumed with social media and my life and my work on social media and I think it is different when you do work on social media and I, and I hate to keep on talking about it because I feel like I every like six months I come on YouTube and I say the same thing about it and it's just like Raining, if you don't like it, get off. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. However, when it is a part of like your job, it's such a catch-22 situation. But I needed to take a break from social media. I needed to live in reality. I needed to do normal things like just go to the shop, go out to eat without taking pictures of my food. <laughs> No one asks us to do these things, but it just feels like such a thing that you have to do when you're on social media to tell a story. And it's almost like you just feel like you have to involve people in your life when you don't have to, but you feel like you do because your audience is missing out on part of your life, which sounds so narcissistic that, that we would actually think that our audience cares that much, that they must know what we're eating for breakfast, lunch and dinner and that we're out or whatever. Anyway, um, I say all that to say that I just really want to live in the real world and just do normal things without thinking about what I have to post or if I have a deadline of a brand or if I've got to respond to a DM, a comment. And I felt like if I'm offline, no one can have any expectations for me. Like I ain't got to check no DMs. I told my management that I'm off for like June. Don't send me any work. I don't care about anything that you're telling me right now. Save it for July. I'm done. I'm out. Deuces. And so I signed off on June the 2nd and I took some time off social media and I can say that looking back now because since I'm back on social media I kind of wish I was away again but I'll talk about that a little bit later. I hung out with my friends, I traveled, um, I spent a week in my favorite country in the world, Morocco, with some of you may know them, they are the Grim Wade family here on YouTube and they were so kind of me the day before. We flew out to be like, Rina, you free, you're gonna come on holiday with us? And I was just like, yeah, the villa life. And part of me was like, because I think it had been about two weeks since I'd been off um, social media. I was getting into the groove of just literally being by myself. And to be honest, I was becoming quite antisocial. But in the same breath, I really enjoyed it. I, was, I had time with my own thoughts and my own feelings and to think my own thoughts and that kind of stuff. But when they asked me to come away with them, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? If I don't go away, I'm just going to be inside my house and let's just go book my ticket. And yeah, I went away with them. And it was just a beautiful time of love and fellowship and fun and no pressure. That was the first time I've been away for a long time where I didn't take any pictures. Like I did a few videos which you can see here, but it wasn't to post in real time. It was just to have them as memories. And even when I look back at them, I can look back on the photos and the videos and be like, I was actually in that moment before time. And when you're so on social media, you can look back at memories and look back at photos and there's no meaning to it because you weren't actually living in the moment. You was living through a phone. It's like when people go, go to concerts and and you see their phones up all the time. I really should have my other phone because this phone is dusty. Like I've got a new phone there. Like, whatever who cares. Um actually I care. One second. <laughs> so yeah, this is my old phone. This is my new phone. Dusty phone. New phone. 
Anyway, yeah, like when people are at concerts, they will be filming a concert through their phone and like they're not in the moment. And so you're viewing it through your phone and not through the reality of what's actually happening. So you look back at your videos and you don't feel the emotion of how you felt because your emotion was so fixed on actually capturing the moment for your phone. And I don't know if anyone understands that. It's very real to me. It makes a lot of sense to me. And yeah, that's what I enjoy doing. And another thing that I definitely like enjoyed doing on my time away was having privacy. And some of my friends have to remind me like I've been doing this thing for a long time. I've been doing this social media thing for like nine years. And so nine years of my life being publicized by myself like this this is not I'm not a victim I did it myself I publicized myself for the benefit of other people I guess and feeling like I had no privacy like when you're sharing in the moment and when you're so passionate about what you're talking about and you want to help people and you want to you're relatable to people so you share similar stories with them not on a tip that I want to share my business but I have to share the stories that you guys can relate relate to me on a deeper level but I think as I've matured and as I've grown up I just turned 32 not just like two weeks ago I turned 32 thank you thank you thank you I'm hearing the happy birthdays now but I think it's coming with maturity that I'm realizing that I'm realizing that I just want to live more privately and I want to be a little bit more um yeah I want to live privately and quietly in the same breath I don't want that to affect my calling and being a big sis to you guys and I think I'm in the place of transition again I know my one of my other videos I was speaking about transitioning and I feel like we're always constantly transitioning and with someone that is like me that loves control it is kind of hard to frame my mind around all of this change that's happening inside of me because I feel like when I'm in control or when I know what's happening I can fully explain it and therefore I feel like I'm in control of what's happening but I'm really at the moment walking by faith and and why I brought up the word transition is because I believe that eventually I'm not going to be a YouTuber. <laughs> I may not be a YouTuber for much longer or it may just be the season that I'm in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. And that's one thing for me, being a control freak and wanting to know all the answers and have all the answers and be able to answer every question of my life, of other people's lives and just realising that, no, you don't have the answers, Brini. You're literally 32 years old. Like, you've never gone where you're about to go. There's a lot of mystery about your life. There's a lot of unknown, a lot of question marks, and it's okay because most people are living like that. Anyone that tells you that they're fully sure about their lives or what they want to do or what they want to achieve or where they're going next is a liar. Like nobody fully knows what the next steps are. And we are just walking by faith and trusting God that he will bring everything that he wants to bring into manifestation. But I'll go back to what some of the things that I had been doing while I was away for social media. And really and truly, it was just the normal things. But the normal things had so much more meaning because I was fully present going out to eat with my friends, catching up them, talking without the distraction of a phone, having friends and family over. I threw a birthday party for my sister's 40th birthday at mine, we had a sleepover, had a lot of family gatherings over here. I um, organised my office, which I had been putting off for so long because mentally I just couldn't do it. I hired someone in to help me tidy up, hired someone in to help me clean both of my balconies, one on the front, one on the back, and just be able to really decorate my space the way that I really wanted it to and um what else yeah traveled conversation I don't know and I think for me just waking up in the morning feeling no pressure like I can do what I want like the day is gonna be the day like and it's just is what it is I can go to bed in peace wake up in peace and just not be stressed about what I've got to post or what I've got to do next and it was just a freeing feeling that people were asking me like how oh, how have you are you finding being on social media and I'm like a month is not long enough for me it took me a month to be like okay I'm now adjusted to this lifestyle and I like it but now the fear of actually returning is kind of stressing 
me out. So yeah, I just feel like it, one month was like getting me readjusted because I think one thing that people or you guys should understand is that I have been doing this for nine years with very, very little breaks. If I take a break, it'll be like three days. Like I'll just not post anything, not think about work, or whatever. But even in that, there's still so much going on in the background because I'm a thinker and I'm constantly thinking, sometimes overthinking, or shall I say most times overthinking, um, not giving myself a lot of grace and just just non-stop going and it's like it was hard for me to be present with people because um not only just the social media aspect of like boosting but thinking about the email that I've got to respond to my, my manager that I've got to respond to someone's asking this of me someone wants this for me I need to meet this deadline I need to think about what I'm doing with my podcast I need to think about how I want to create a series I want to think about this and think about that so even when I'm like have a day off or I'm chilling with my friends I can't fully be present like you know nine to five people they will leave their work well, most people leave their work at work and then the next day they go back to work my work is constant 24 7 in my mind whenever I'm relaxing whenever I'm chilling so my mind if I go and have a massage so my mind if I travel it's on my mind like there's no escape for work when you're a life when you're an influencer there's no escape from work when you're an influencer when your life is your work and your work is your life that's it that is basically it in a nutshell. And I guess that's what I've been facing for, for nine years nonstop. And I feel like it was easier before because I was chasing and trying to achieve something. I was had a goal, I had a vision, and I was like, boom, 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 boom. And the goal wasn't necessarily a number, but it was a lifestyle. And I guess I now that I have the lifestyle that I am at ease and I'm not strained financially, I can really live. But then it's like you can't really live because you have to constantly be working. And and I wouldn't mind if the work was not cumbersome and burdensome. But sometimes this line of work for me can get really burdensome because I'm very um, sensitive and very intuitive and very spiritual. And I can't I can't just do what everyone else is doing. I can't just think how everyone else is thinking. I can't just go with the status quo just to get along, just to make money. There's things that I turn down that I don't want to do because it's in the line of who I am and my faith and my belief in God. And so it's like a lot to factor in. And people look at influencers as like we have an ideal life and we do. We are part of our lifestyle is so ideal. That I, I wake up literally whenever I want to, which is not really good because I don't really, I don't get the structure but I can wake up whenever I want to it's currently two o'clock in, in the afternoon I'm going to have a photo shoot I'm going to a photo shoot in an hour um which even that sounds like it's fun it's not you should see my my room there's clothes everywhere because I'm trying to figure out outfits and stuff like that and then I want to go and I want to perform and I want to take pictures it's not it's not we make it look effortless but it's it's a lot of work it's hard but people may look at us and be like you have the lifestyle that most people want and I know most people don't want to work these days and I get it like it's not it's not easy but um it was like going with this yeah I was so like so focused on just boom 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 achieving and working towards a, a, a specific goal of a lifestyle of living in 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 security which I have security I didn't feel the pressure as much as I feel it now that I have the security but the, the insecurity now as in the feelings that you guys can't see is a lot more heightened and I don't always feel that I have the peace needed or necessary to create content to post, to be, you know, so free in my think thinking. And not only that, it's, I honestly don't have a team. I'm by myself. I do everything by myself. I have help sometimes, like an editor, but even after she edits, I have to re-edit it again. And it's very much lonely. And I think not only am I doing the work by myself, I'm aware of the way I want to get to my own goals. It was also lonely as in like most people, most of my friends don't live this lifestyle. Most of my friends have a nine to five and I'm at home most of the time. Even if I'm filming, I'm at home, right? Um, I don't have a place to, to go to. Anyway, I feel like I'm waffling. For like, you know, when you don't want to like speak to YouTube, how you should be speaking to your therapist. Yeah, I'm not trying to offload, but just trying to help you guys see like the struggle and it's not external struggle. I don't have external struggle. My life is peaceful. Honestly, guys, my life on the outside is peaceful. I don't have any drama. I, everything is wonderful. But inside, because like I said, I think so much, I'm constantly, I guess, worried would be the right term. Like worried about many things. Like a lot of things is like consumes my mind. 
mind and I get overwhelmed a lot, especially if, especially with the addition of social media. Because like, even when I wasn't on social media, I was still busy. Like there was still so much for me to be doing, people for me to be seeing, conversations to be had, people were call, still calling me. So I still don't feel that like completely free. I was thinking like, how did I do this and social media on, and work on top of how I feel now? I could understand why I was feeling overwhelmed. Anyway, took a month on social media and then um, didn't give my, myself time to readjust. I posted a picture on my birthday, which was the 9th of July, and people assumed that I was back on social media and I was, but I wasn't. My heart wasn't in it and I was still kind of questioning, should I take some more time off? I still don't feel like I am rested. I don't still don't feel like, I still don't feel like 100% myself. I don't feel like I'm, I know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And then last week, something crazy happened that I didn't expect on social media my friend said don't give it any more energy I it happened what I said was misinterpreted and that, that is it and it was just kind of a reminder for me that I don't enjoy social media anymore like it brings me less joy than it did it brings me more anxiety than I feel is 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 necessary for my life right now but I, the catch only too is that I want to connect with my audience and um, feel free to do so so i don't know what to do <laughs> don't know what's next don't have the answers right now i might do a membership on youtube where i can feel more free and liberated just to speak to you guys i don't know my heart is not in this anymore and i know i came back and i said that my transition had to do with like me wanting to talk about more about god here and now even with that i don't feel like i'm qualified to talk about god i feel qualified to live it <laughs> I feel qualified to live my, my, my Christian life, my Christian faith, but I don't feel qualified to teach anybody about anything. And as much as I have the wisdom and the wealth of knowledge and I can pretty much talk about anything, I don't want to be responsible for anybody. I don't, I don't want to be responsible for anybody. Um, I take my responsibility here on YouTube very seriously, as I've said many times, and I just don't want to <laughs> influence. <them. laughs> like, I don't know. And I feel like one thing about me, is that I just put a lot of pressure on myself to just be this perfect person and I'm so far from being perfect so far from having all of the answers I know I know I know some things because God gives me the wisdom to know them but aside from that I'm just a 32 year old girl trying to figure out life as well as you guys are I may have a little bit more knowledge than you are but I'm not I don't feel qualified to um I don't feel qualified anymore um and I guess I'm just thinking out loud but that's just where I'm at now and I think on the social media break I was so used to just doing nothing talking to nobody <laughs> in the sense of no social media or anything no thinking that I went from that to okay I'll say this because the reason why I say I, I, I've been off YouTube for two months intentionally and unintentionally it was only supposed to be a month but the next video that I wanted you to see was not this one the next video that I wanted you guys to see was a documentary that I had so so much trouble with producing um which is another story the documentary is still coming out but I was trying to rush to get it out because I had a sponsorship in it and I tried to do that after my mum month break and I bit off way more than I could chew I was fasting for seven days from seven to seven trying to do this documentary and get my brain back into working and I just couldn't do it and I had to realize that I was actually torturing myself doing something that was quite impossible for me especially because I had just came back off of a break I, 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 I need to cut myself more slack and this is probably not something that is new to you guys, but I always say that I'm very hard on myself. I don't like to quit. I don't like to fail. I don't like to um, not live up to my own expectations of myself. I'm very judgmental of myself because I just always feel like I can do so much better and do so much more. But I just realised that I have to cut myself some slack because I'm not a robot. I'm a human being with emotions and sometimes those emotions get in the way of my productivity. And that's one thing about being a freelancer, someone that works for themselves. So I'm sitting like this because my legs are hurting, my bum is hurting. So being a, a freelancer, freelancer and working for yourself like it's so much more difficult in the sense that it's, if you want to succeed it's up to you and because I have that motto I, I put a lot of pressure on myself I'm like I'm working towards a window of opportunity that God has opened up for me right here and I have to make the most of it but the real damn truth is that 
I'm not happy. I'm not happy anymore. I'm not getting the satisfaction and the joy out of my work that I was doing before. And I say that all of that right now, but like in the week that could change. <laughs> so I think for me, and I had a lot more to say, but I think I'm just going to talk to you about what's going to happen going forward. And me talking about me not feeling qualified or whatever. And I know that's just like no one's really, really qualified or whatever. But I am just going to live my life before you guys. And I'm going to learn lessons and I'm going to teach you guys lessons as I learn them and as I go and I and I, I wrote down something yesterday and I think this is really important um I thought I thought if I believe it came from God um this is what I wrote I think it was even this morning that I wrote it but you don't have to have all of the answers allow yourself to have your process your followers don't look up to you to lead them to where you have not gone but to be with them where they are so going forward I'm not trying to take you somewhere that I have I haven't gone myself if I talk about a topic and I don't feel like I myself is like you know well versed in it or I've really conquered it I'm gonna share my weaknesses with you I'm gonna share my insecurities with you I'm gonna go back to being a transparent person that you guys wanted to follow in the first place I'm not a guru I've said this many 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 times I'm not a guru I'm not an expert about anything I'm just a 32 year old single black female living life experiencing the same things that you guys go through through and being there with you guys to say that you know what it's okay I'm also experiencing that as well while still retaining some of my privacy but I want to go back to being the transparent person that I am and be and I'm being with you guys like being here like here eye to eye with you guys like and just sharing experiences and things that I've learned and things that I do know that I do you know um believe a lot but from a place of humility I don't have to have all the answers and I don't have to um, be something that I'm not. I'm just, uh, I'm just brainy. I'm just here on YouTube and I'm just sharing my life with you guys and let you guys know that it's also okay to be where you are. It's okay not to be okay. And so that was my life update as it pertains to YouTube. I say all of this now. I don't know when my next video will be. It might be in two months. It might be in two weeks. It might be in two days. It might be next week. It might be end of year. I don't know. I'm just going to be and exist and I'm not going to put any more pressure on myself than God puts on me because that's one thing that I do I put so much pressure on myself to be this person that God doesn't even have the expectation of me because he knows me like he knows my my weaknesses he knows you no know, my 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 inadequacies like he knows that and he's he's he understands process I don't I, I understand destination I understand being at point a and getting to point b God understands all the areas in between and I pray that you guys also know that for yourself as well that you can trust the process and know that you don't have to know everything I don't know everything. I will never know everything. I know what I need to know now to get to the next place, but I don't need to like run ahead of God or think ahead of God. I can just be content and happy knowing what I know now and whatever I know now, offering that to you guys, not from a pretense, not from a high horse, but from a place of humility. And that's where I'm going to be, what we're going to be doing going forward. So I hope you guys heard my heart. The video was all over the place because when you're speaking without no notes, you just did it. Like you're just a bit all over the place as well that's brainy that's me um i love you guys like my genuine followers my genuine subscribers those who rock with me like i love you guys with my whole heart and um when i do put out videos it's for you guys it's not for me <laughs> not for me it's for you guys and I do want to help and I don't want to distance myself from you guys but I guess I'm just finding new ways and better ways to be more um helpful to you guys um and think less about what other people say are saying they can have their platforms they can have their followers they can spew whatever maliciousness or hatefulness to their own followers but I'm going to focus on my followers I'm going to focus on us being the best versions of ourselves um elevating in every area and being amazing women that we are just because so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys